Hey guys, Mr. Nano here down in the Texas native wetlands at the Rory Myers Children's Adventure Garden. Now I want to show you something amazing. Wetlands plants obviously live in an area where there's a lot of rainfall. And so they've had some startling adaptations to all the water they get. In some cases, they have to find special ways of getting rid of that extra water. Now here I have a normal leaf from a tree, a burgundy heart tree. This is heart shaped. And I'm gonna take some water here and I'm just gonna pour a little bit on the top, just as if we had rain. Okay, let's see what happens. And you can see it just looks normal, right? The water kind of sticks to the surface, just kind of falls off and is sticking there. Now let's try the same thing with this type of leaf. Now I clipped this leaf from the sacred lotus plant. We have a lot of uh, sacred lotus flowers here around the Dallas Arboretum. You've probably seen them, pretty pink, pretty white. Um, and this leaf has special adaptations. So all leaves have a layer on top called a cuticle. And in this one, it's extra thick. And also, it's covered in microscopic structures that hold off the drops of water when they fall down onto the leaf. So why don't we give it a try? Watch what happens. Did you see that? Let me try again. Put some right here in the middle. And you can see the water actually just rolls off. It won't stick to the surface. That's what scientists call being hydrophobic, scared of water. It actually keeps the water off. It can clean fungus off itself, bacteria. This leaf has adapted to be self-cleaning. And that's in fact what is called the lotus effect. Now, scientists and different People that are manufacturing waterproof clothing actually mock this type of nature in order to come up with their inventions. It's a pretty amazing thing that nature has found a way to keep water off these plants. Thanks, guys.